So with the recent release of the AGL Spirit Bomb Absorbed LR Goku, we got our 51st LR Rarity unit in the game. And I've mentioned this in the past where I felt like the LR Rarity is just not nearly as valuable, not nearly as exciting as it used to be because we're getting so many of them so quickly. But you know what? That's a different topic for a different video. So I'm not going to address it too much here. But what we're doing here today is to actually throw it back to the original, the first LR ever released in Dokkan. And that, of course, is the Prime Battle Tech LR Spirit Bomb Goku. And this guy was released... Uh, more than three years ago on both Global and JP. And of course, he is very outdated at this point, but I wanted to see how well he could still perform on a modern day category team, specifically the Goku's Family category. And uh, even though he's super old, he still actually has quite a few good things going for him. So first things first, he has really good stats. He has over 20,000 attack at rainbow status, which is still quite good. Defense is a little bit lower um, than your average LR. Even for free-to-play LRs, it's a bit on the lower end, but 13,000, relatively speaking, is still pretty good. And of course, 20,000 HP is quite high as well. So good stats overall. And uh, he also has uh, really good art. <laughs> I mean, for a unit that is as old as he is, I still really, really like this art, guys. It just looks really cool, man. I really like the aura. I really like the lightning. I think it looks great, so good art for how old he is. And uh, aside from that, his links, his links are not bad. His links are not bad. They could be better. It could be better, but uh, he has Super Saiyan. He has uh, Golden Warrior. He has Kamehameha, which is okay. Um, First Awakened, if you can get the link off, is a 25% attack boost, so that's really good. Uh, unfortunately, no Prepare for Battle. Of course, no Fierce Battle, but I wouldn't expect those. So yeah, he's not terrible, but um, of course, the passive is just the... <laughs> it's so bad. It's such a bad passive. Attack plus 10,000 and defense plus 3,000 when facing only one enemy. So that's the main thing, holding him back. And uh, hopefully one of these days we see him with an EZA because I would love to be able to use him regularly on my teams, right? But that being said, guys, we're going to jump into the showcase here. This is the team we're bringing. And uh, he's linked with his best linking partner at the moment, which is the Tech Bardock. And uh, what I'm going to do here is actually give one orb to Bardock. And then we can actually take all these tech orbs here. Get the 18 key super off. So that is a total of how many? 18, 19, 20. So 20 key for Goku at the moment. And why don't we give a few to the uh, support Goku as well. So we're getting 30% support from the int LR Goku at the end. Uh, Bardock's gonna super here. I think this guy's only at like super attack 6. So I'm not expecting too much from him. And we're also getting super. So this could hurt quite a bit. Oh my god. Okay, 142k. Now, first attack from the LR Goku, still over 2 million, guys. Uh, I gotta say, that's actually not that additional, 400k, got the crit too. So, I think he's actually still respectable, even though he's so old, right? Even though his passive is awful, even though if you're facing more than one enemy, um, he's gonna have no passive. Um, if you have him in the right situation, right, if you have him in, under the right setup with the... Uh, maybe with like one support, also with the right linking partner, like the tech Bardock here. Uh, he can actually still do some good things. He can actually still do some pretty good things. Now, what we're going to want to do is get the pan, the B pan on rotation, popper active skill. And then, of course, uh, try to get the 24 key super as well, because that's pretty much going to be his maximum damage output without doing like a random support thing like uh, people bring like Kid Buu on every team. You can't really bring Kid Buu here, at least it wouldn't make sense, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, so basically the setup with him linked with Bardock as well as um, getting the support from the active skill, right, is uh, going to be his max damage output. So what are we going to get here? We're going to get, okay, so 22 key here. And I'm a little bit worried about Bardock, honestly, because this guy can't really take any hits. Fortunately, we do have the type advantage here. So we're taking 2.8k and uh, 1.65 mil attacks that. We get a crit. No crit, but 1.2 mil and we're tanking okay. I mean, considering we have type advantage, it's actually not that good. Um, taking normals or 2.3k, but we are on the legendary Goku event, so it does tend to hit harder as well. And of course, he is tanking quite a bit better the tech Bardock. 
So I would say overall, you know, <laughs> um, he's better than I expected. Guys, I haven't used him prior to this showcase for, I want to say, I want to say over like two years. It's got to be at least at least a year and a half, maybe two years since I last used the tech Goku. So this is actually kind of cool for me. Um, brings back a lot of good memories. There's actually two reasons why I decided to make this video. Number one, I gotta be honest with you, uh, Global has just been so freaking dead, guys. There's just nothing to make videos about, nothing to talk about. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity to actually highlight some units that we don't really uh, use that often right and number two is that we just got the uh, boost category the bonus category added to the prime battle goku event uh, where you can use vegeta's family units to get a boost on the 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 metals drops and stuff like that right so now it's going to be a little bit easier for you guys actually a lot easier a lot easier to collect those medals to fully awaken the goku so maybe you can use this video as a way to decide whether or not it's gonna be worth your time and effort to collect all those medals but so far i gotta say um he's doing better than i thought he's actually doing better than i thought so what i'm gonna do here is actually give these agl orbs to bardock so that i can actually use a oolong to change some of those uh, int orbs then we're gonna give the 24 key super to goku we're gonna pop the active skill for pan as well and uh, I might actually pop a damage mitigation item just to be safe because we have a lot of attacks in the first slot and Bardock obviously, as you guys saw before, can't tank. So we're going to pop the Icarus just to be extra, extra safe. And uh, let's get the super off with Pan. So what we're going to see here, guys, is pretty much his max damage output without like doing anything weird, without like uh, using, you know, nuke items or anything like that. So here we go, uh, Bardock is still taking a lot of damage. Oh, he got a dodge, how? How'd he get a dodge? Okay, are we gonna die? Oh, we got another, wait, how did that happen? <laughs> did I give Bardock dodge? <laughs> Anyways, uh, 2.4 mil guys, 2.4 mil, 1.8 million crit, and then a 1.3 million additional as well, 510k there. And uh, with the Icarus active, we're taking double digit damage for normal attacks here. So it's actually not bad. And we're gonna heal right up with the, the B pan here. Awesome. So uh, I guess, yeah, that's, that's like I said, about the maximum damage you can expect from him without doing any like, you know, weird support rotations or anything like that. And uh, it's better than I expected. It's better than I expected. 2.4 million from a three-year-old, no more than three years old. Uh, he was originally released on Global on November 17th. Actually, no, I have it right here. Give me one sec. Let me see if I can find it for you guys. Um, All or Nothing, Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, oh no, that's Super Saiyan God Vegito. Where is the Goku here? LR Goku. Let me try to find it. It's somewhere here, guys. Oh, here we go. Everlasting Legend. He's called Everlasting Legend, Super Saiyan Goku. And he was released on JP on July 5th, 2016. So for JP, he's almost three and a half years old. And then for Global, he was released on November 18th, 2016. So uh, about a year and a month. Actually, actually, almost exactly a year and a month. So yeah, this guy is super duper old, but uh, even that being said, right? Even being that old, he is still doing some pretty respect respectable damage. I think he's still very much usable. Um, obviously, you have to make sure he's only facing one enemy, otherwise he has no passive at all. But, um, you know, in this situation, his damage is actually quite impressive to me. Okay, so we're taking the super here. This might be 150k, yeah. Okay, so 150k for the super. I mean, I didn't expect too much from him defensively. At least he's tanking better than the Bardock here. But uh, don't expect him to be a tank. Don't really... Yeah, like I said, man. For an LR, he has fairly low defense. 13k at rainbow status. And uh, he's only getting like 3,000 defense from his passive when facing one enemy. So it's, it's really not, not much of a surprise that uh, he's not doing that well from a defensive perspective so i'm gonna do probably this final stage and then we're gonna call it a day because there's not much else to see here um tech lr super saiyan goku still pretty good from a damage perspective um on the right setup on a 170 percent team with one support linked with his best partner but otherwise uh it's kind of hard to recommend people to farm him right now i mean 
you could if you have nothing else to do. And considering how dead uh, Jake Global is right now, and for anybody watching this in the future, we're currently in the middle of uh, December, right? So this is right after all the hype stuff that part one of the Christmas celebration has kind of passed. And now we're just waiting for part two. So that's kind of why it's been so dead. And uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, part two is a lot better because <laughs> part one, I gotta say, the only, only hype thing that came out of it was, oh, actually, I'm gonna get Dokkan attack here. We're gonna Dokkan attack. Okay, you know what? Let me reset this because I don't want to Dokkan attack with the Bardock. So let me fix this. Okay, so let's see if we can actually get a nice super off with the Goku. Um, hmm, let's see. Uh, okay, the issue here is that I don't want a super with the Bardock, but I kind of have to give him. Oh, never mind. If we give him that one, then this guy can still. Get the 24k super. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. All right, so... Oh, are we going to die? Because, yeah, Bardock is still taking a lot of damage. So hopefully we don't get supered. Or this guy dodges the attacks like he did before. No super. Come on. No super. No super. Here we go. All right. Now we're going to get all seven of these Dokkan attack orbs here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. And let's see what his attack stat goes up to. 1.84 mil. Actually, just like before. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I expected it to be better, but we could do some pretty nice damage here with a crit. Ah, no crit, but 2.7 mil. 2.7 mil. Not too bad, Goku. Not too bad. Uh, I think I was talking about something else before I started the Dokkan attack. What was it, though? What was it? I don't remember. Uh, oh, yeah. Part 1 has been pretty bad. Only hype thing was the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken and Goku, but aside from the banner, um, there isn't that much to get to get excited about. You know, like we didn't get that many new events, we didn't really get uh, much else to work on in the meantime. So I'm hoping part two is a lot more just eventful, and um, I'm I'm predicting it's gonna be you know LR killing Khalifa. It's gonna be the Tanabata banner. I think that's what the Christmas tickets are for, but I could be wrong, so don't necessarily hold me to it. And there's also this like whole controversy on Global right now about, um, you know, the top grossing situation, how we hit top grossing in like five different regions, but Bandai has decided to completely ignore it. I mean, here's the thing, by the time you guys watch this, we might have gotten our top grossing rewards already, right? Because um, Bandai maybe is just slacking a little bit and they're eventually going to... Uh, give them to us still, but it's hard to say right now. So at the moment while I'm filming this video We still don't didn't get anything for top grossing. I don't know if it's coming. I know we hit it at least in a couple a couple regions, but um, We'll have to see what Bandit decides to do. So stay tuned for that or maybe it's already here Like I said when you're watching this, but either way um, Part 2 is coming soon guys two about two or three days before the part 2 information comes out So just hold tight my global players it's gonna be okay. We're gonna get some good stuff soon. So uh, don't don't worry too much. Don't stress too much. Yo, how is Bardock getting so many dodges going? Okay, this is gonna kill us. This is gonna be it. There we go. 255k. We're still alive. Now we're dead. There we go. So <laughs> that is the showcase, guys, of the first ever LR in Dokkan, the Tech Super Saiyan LR Goku. I gotta say, I'm I'm pretty impressed. Pretty impressed. Uh, with his damage output, his defense is definitely lacking, definitely leaves something to be desired, but if they were to give him a Extreme Z Awakening at some point in the future, and just change this passive to like, I don't know, even like 50% like attack and defense or something like that, like, he'd be way better, like significantly better. With 10,000 attack and 3,000 defense, you saw him do, well the defense doesn't matter, but you saw him do like 2 point something million, right? 2.1 million, 2.4 million, so on and so forth, so... Yeah, I mean, just give him a pretty low attack and defense percentage boost, and we'll be good to go. Bandai, if you're watching, I know there's spies out there, then uh, just do it for us, come on. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch it, and as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it 
I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.